Right now, a Florida teenager is in hot water after police say they caught him playing doctor with patients who thought he was for real. 18-year-old Malachi Love Robinson is accused of running a fake medical practice. Officers say he performed exams and handed out medical advice at a holistic clinic in West Palm Beach. And it might not be the first time. Police say they questioned him a year ago for dressing like a doctor and hanging out inside a hospital. Let's give, give our legal panel a shot at explaining this one. Brian Claypool is criminal defense attorney. Yodit Tewelde, a former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney. I look at the guy and I don't think he looks like a doctor, Yodit. He's 18 years old now and that's kind of how he looks in the mugshot. Who would ever, uh, you know, pass this guy off? Who would ever believe that this guy was a doctor, first of all? You know what, St. Mary's Hospital should actually be embarrassed and ashamed that they let this 17-year-old, who in my opinion actually looks 13, roam the hallways for over a month wearing a white St. Mary's lab coat <clears throat> and a stethoscope around his neck and go in and out of patients' rooms and not even have any flags being raised at all, no questions. I mean, this is a place that's supposed to be safe for people to come and, and get medical help. And here we have a 17-year-old who is having interaction with people and, and coming off as if he is a doctor. I mean, their security measures definitely need to be addressed. For yeah, sure. and, and shadowing somebody who is doing gynecological exams, which is just absolutely creepy. So, what kind creepy. of uh, trouble does he face here, Brian? Well, John, he faces, uh, I believe, I looked up the law, I believe he faces a mandatory one year in jail because he's operating a business as a, as a medical doctor without a license. But here's another point we ought to make. Shouldn't the, the Florida Department of Health be embarrassed as well? They sent a cease and desist order to this guy last year, John, saying stop, impo stop acting as an imposter. Yeah. You're not a medical doctor. So how does he go up and set his shop up? And, and if, he's, if he's seeing patients and billing patients, are insurance companies actually paying this guy? Why, are they, why don't they have a red flag system in place to vet this as well? But Brian, you know, his grandfather defends him, says, oh, he, he never claimed to be a medical doctor. He claimed to be a homeopathic healer. What's the Ridiculous. difference? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I looked into that as well. That, that doesn't work, John, because in Florida, it doesn't matter if you're a homeopathic doctor or you practice natural medicine. If you practice any sort of medicine in Florida, you have to obtain a medical license. And I gotta be straight up with you, John. There's a part of this young man that I think might have some kind of mental disorder. Maybe he should be checked from a psychological standpoint, and maybe that might be used in the criminal case to argue diminished capacity. Because this young man I, believes that he can be, he can be anybody. Yeah, we will uh, certainly John, let our viewers know what happens in the case of Malachi Love Robinson. Yodid, we wanna turn our attention to another Florida case a businessman who is suing his former fiance, claiming she and maybe her parents stole more than $2 million worth of gold, diamonds, and other jewelry after the pair broke up. His name is Scott Mitchell. You see him on the right there. He is CEO of Simply Organic. He says Mary Catherine Hunt took the jewels and the, and the precious metals shortly after he called off their wedding. Well, she now faces criminal charges, and he's suing for more than $6 million. The, the question in my mind, Yodit, is what about proof? Now, he says that he and she were the only two people who had the combination to this safe in which all of this stuff was supposedly uh, stored. But, I mean, how does he prove that she actually took it? Well, you know, you have a wealthy 44-year-old man who drives a 2015 Bentley. He spent $2.6 million on his home, and apparently he set up a site um, for that's comparable to Facebook for filthy rich <clears throat> men. So we can't be surprised that he's going to attract a young 27-year-old woman who probably is more interested in his bank account than his personality. I mean, he financed her entire life from mortgage payments to car and health insurance, took her to, you know, international trips. And so the second and he took that type of lifestyle away from her by calling off their engagement, um, is he surprised that some things are missing from a safe that he gave her the combination to? But I will say, they were engaged and in, in planning to be married in a few months. I'm, I'm not going to completely buy the fact that she took 
all of these jewel these jewels um, and not believe that he gave some of that to her and that would be a defense that she would use that he actually gave them to her and she had ownership of this jewelry Brian he says that he bought all of that stuff with partners back when the recession was on he went to a bunch of jewelry stores bought all of this product on the cheap uh, paid about 900 grand for it he says now it's worth two million dollars but how does he prove that she is the one responsible for its disappearance. Hey, John, he can't. Can you say flimsy? Flimsy both in the civil case because he's not going to be able to prove any kind of conspiracy. He's not going to be able to prove that she didn't have any joint ownership in this at all. I mean, it was a, in a vault. She had the combination, John, to well, the vault. He, you know, and he how says did he buy did. this jewelry? We're going to have to. Yeah, well, and, 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 we'll, we'll let our, our viewers know what the courts decide. <laughs> she, she was arrested at any rate. Brian, Yodit, thank you both. All right. Thank you. You bet. Thanks, John.